Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the colors in your video. Okay, here we are on your editing screen. We'll get to the color screen by clicking here. This is where you can choose from one of our predefined color templates that we've created for you. But you can also add in your own in the custom colors tab. Select two background colors and your text color. Get your exact brand colors by clicking this plus sign here and pasting over hex codes from your own branding guidelines. Now it's really important to take a look at this preview to make sure you have plenty of contrast so the text in your video will be easy to read. Take it a step further and once you've chosen your colors, jump back over to the timeline tab and click save and preview to see how it'll all look in your final video. And that's it. You've added another layer of branding to your video. If you'd like to learn more, watch on. We have some more tips for you. Now, if you've clicked save and preview on a scene, but have noticed your colors haven't carried through, that's because not all animated scenes have been designed in the same way. Scenes with stock footage or which take on a certain style haven't been designed for color changes. The clay scenes are one example of that. While we're talking about branding and design, here's a note about fonts. In case you missed it, this drop-down option here allows you to select your own. Click here to quickly take whatever font you've selected and apply it across every scene. And if we want the font that the original scene was designed with, we can just select Default. And finally, to see all the biteable videos you've ever created, click back to your video library screen here. Once you start making a lot of videos, you want to keep your video library nice and tidy, so just click Add Folder, label it however you'd like to, and then pop your videos into their corresponding folders. We can't say this enough. Make sure you use the Save and Preview button as you go. It's important to check in on what your scenes look like before you spend time building your final video, just to make sure that you're hitting your own brief. And that's how it's done. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. And as always, if there's more how-tos you'd like us to make, just let us know. Bye for now.